Are you someone with a dream of running a food product business out of your home kitchen? Do you love to bake tasty treats and can items in that kitchen? Do you crave the financial freedom that comes with running your own business? Well, you are in the perfect place with this course, how to set up and market a food product business out of your home kitchen. In this course, we'll go over everything you need to know to navigate your state's cottage food laws and get up and running quickly with that food product business. My name is Lisa Kivrist, and I'm the co-author of Homemade for Sale, the national leading guide for cottage food startups. We will cover in this course all the basics from that book, as well as additional resources on things like how to label your canned food products or attractively package and display your baked goods. I'm a food entrepreneur myself for over 20 years, first running in serendipity bed and breakfast, and also being a cottage food entrepreneur, producing and selling high acid items out of my home kitchen, pickles, sauerkraut, even pickled pumpkin. But my heart's in baking, and I make and sell Latvian sourdough rye bread, decorated cookies, and muffins. I'm also a national cottage food advocate and can help you navigate your state's regulations to get up and running quickly with your food business dream. I and two baker friends even successfully sued the state of Wisconsin to have the ban on the sale of home baked goods lifted, so we all now have the freedom to earn. From cupcakes to decorated cakes and cookies to jams and jellies and pickles and dry mixes, there is an abundance of food products that you can make out of your home kitchen. In this course, we will go into what that non-hazardous definition is, so you can really understand and have that full opportunity available to you. We'll also go into what is the difference between a business and a hobby, and how to get your business set up from the get-go so that you'll avoid any headaches down the road from the IRS. I will also share a lot of success stories from other cottage food entrepreneurs so that we can learn from each other and you'll have the confidence to get up and running. The best news is you really can't fail at starting your own food product business out of your home kitchen. You probably have all the equipment and ingredients you need already right now in your kitchen. Uh, What we'll talk about in this course is how to do that successfully. You've probably already been making these products for years. Now's the time to start sharing and selling them to your neighbors and community. In this comprehensive course, I'll cover all the basics that you need to get your food product business started in your home kitchen. We'll talk about product development, testing your recipe, coming up with that special thing for you to produce and sell, go into marketing, including writing a press release and getting media coverage on your business, to social media, to websites, all of which can be done at basically no cost to market your business. We'll cover business structure, as well as how can you best manage risk through insurance and managing liability. And that a very important aspect of balancing your business with all those other things going on in your life, your family responsibilities, maybe another job outside of the home kitchen. How can you make all those pieces work? And we'll talk about perhaps a future road for some of us who want to grow into commercial facilities, incubator kitchens. What does that mean? And we'll talk about how to be a cottage food advocate, to be involved and aware of what's going on in your state and advocate for bigger, better, broader cottage food laws. And I'll touch on this new hot initiative of food freedom laws you see passing up in our uh, states increasingly. Also, I'll cover, there's a special section at the end with some specific topics, including Wisconsin, where I will go into detail on the Wisconsin lawsuit that lifted the ban on the sale of baked goods and how to get your business up and running, as well as the existing law on canned items in Wisconsin. I designed this course to be helpful and accessible, whatever your background may be or where you may be on your food journey. Maybe you're somebody who has always had this dream of starting your own business, but you haven't run your own business before and you need help on the pragmatics. Maybe you've had this culinary dream of starting something in your home kitchen and you want to learn how to test drive it a little bit before quitting that day job. Maybe you're a stay-at-home mom who wants to have something part-time that you can manage while having care of the kids. Or maybe you're a culinary professional or somebody who has been downsized in the economy and you're looking for a job that you can control better, call your own hours, and earn income by. Maybe you're a farmer who wants to diversify their income by doing value-added products using some of the things you grow at the farmer's market in baked goods and canned items. There's a wide range of people 
who are starting their food product businesses in their home kitchen. And this course is designed to be accessible and welcoming wherever you may be on your journey. Low on jargon and high on practical, pragmatic information. Even if you're somebody who has already run a business, you'll find helpful information here that really gets into the cottage food side and the food product side and the home kitchen business management side. Now, these cottage food laws I've been talking about are specific to the United States, and that is what we'll be focusing on. But if you are anywhere in our world and interested in the food business side, there'll be information in here helpful for you as well. But the actual laws we'll be focusing on are specific to the United States. Join the hundreds of thousands of cottage food entrepreneurs across our country who are earning income, creating, and having fun in their home kitchen just like me. Put on your apron and let's start cooking and selling.